Now let's take some time to talk about the NACA 6 Series airfoils in OpenVSP and how the individual parameters will change the shape. So you have access to various 6 Series airfoils here in the Series drop-down menu. And notice that this second digit here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, what have you, is the location in fraction of cord where the minimum pressure occurs. So in this case, 6.3 means it's here at 30%. Go to a 6.5, it's at the mid cord. Go up to a 6.7, it pushes that way back here. So you can adjust that by the series change. The other parameters are relatively self-explanatory. Thickness to cord is going to update the thickness to cord value here. Your ideal lift coefficient is going to give you, you know, more or less camber. You can even drop that back down to zero and make the camber line straight. And then we have this A value. Now the A is the location in the fraction of cord where the mean line changes from uniform cordwise loading to linearly decreasing towards the trailing edge. So to give you an example of this, what we're going to do is bump the ideal lift coefficient up to something really high like one. And so this is kind of an unrealistic shape. You wouldn't necessarily use this, but let's do this for an example because it really illustrates the point here. So as we back this A value where this transition occurs toward the leading edge, notice what happens to the shape of this airfoil. So right now we're here at about the mid cord and we've got this nice smooth curve uh, that has you know a nice rounded camber line up until about this point. And once you transition past that, you start to get this linear decrease towards the trailing edge. And so that's what the A value is doing. Now, we also have access to the 6A series airfoils. And this is a bit of nuance in having to know exactly what the definition of a 6A airfoil is. But let's go to a 6.3A instead of a 6.3 and take a look. So notice that back here, the trailing edge um, that sharp cusp has been eliminated, so it thickens it up back there. But by definition, a 6A airfoil does that at 80% of the cord, so it must be linear from that point back to the trailing edge. So technically, if you want to recreate a 6A airfoil, that A value here in the 6 series needs to be set at 80%. Now, we give you control over that to where you can, if you want, take it over towards the trailing edge, but notice that the 80% to the trailing edge piece of this airfoil isn't changing um, because it's, it's overriding that because it has an A designation. What you're doing is you're changing everything that's lofted ahead of that point. So yes, you can create a new kind of airfoil with that A parameter, but you're not really true to the 6A designation. You're doing something else. So what you're really doing is you're leveraging the benefits of thickening that trailing edge section like they did with the 6A series, but you are not recreating the geometry that would have been used in either a textbook or a wind tunnel experiment from back in the NACA tests where the A implies that this must be at 80%. So when you're trying to put something together like say a 63A415, those are the values that you would want to use to try and recreate that data. And so it's an important distinction to make that when you're using these, that's how you set it. But hopefully that's a good enough example of the six series airfoils in OpenVSP that give you a bit of an understanding on one, what the designation means and how to build it up or get what you want, and two, what the 6A series means.